Ahoy mateys, it's Ollie with After Buzz TV. I'm joined by the cast and crew of one of the most iconic shows on television on Nickelodeon, SpongeBob SquarePants. I am so super excited. We're at Comic-Con and I'm with this talented group of people here with me. So why don't you Oh. Oh, they're gone. They left. They left. <laughs> they left. Where'd they go? So why don't you guys introduce yourselves? Go down the line. We're going to do some l little mic sharing today on this nice, ugly couch. So why don't we start with you over there, mister? Hey, do uh, you want me to take it from you? OK, okay. I'm Mr. Lawrence. I play Plankton. <laughs> and that's about it. <laughs> Uh, he's also the head writer of the show. I am also. And, yes. <laughs> and I am Vincent Waller, co-executive producer of SpongeBob SquarePants. Started doing storyboards a thousand years ago and it worked way way up. Look, ma. <laughs> so you're the one that we all fear, right? Because you're like, you're you're the head honcho. No, we're all afraid of playing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gotcha. And you, my good sir. I think Vincent started drawing uh, storyboards. It was in a cave, right? It was by a cave. by <laughs> firelight. My name is Bill Fagerbacki, and I'm the voice of Patrick, and I'm sitting here with these awesome people right now, and, and right now I'm going to take the magic talking wand, and I'm going to pass it to Carolyn. Thank you, Patrick. This is Carolyn. I play Sandy Cheeks. Howdy, y'all. So excited to be here for the 20th anniversary. Woo! Oh, my gosh. Same, girl, same. So I have to say happy birthday first and foremost to SpongeBob, 20 freaking years. How does it feel to be a part of that in the animation industry? Who wants to go first? Well, to be clear. <laughs> <laughs> Super surreal. Can't believe it's 20 years. It's weird because it feels like a really long time, and yet it feels like it was just yesterday that we started. So it's, it's, it's like a dichotomy. It's both. Nothing prepares you for this at all. When you become an actor, uh, you're prepared for a transient, hobo-like existence. One job ends, and you hope another one happens someday. And uh, and uh, you know, and I I was lucky earlier in my career. I had a, a camera job that went for nine years. I thought, well, lightning can't strike twice. Wow, lightning just keeps hitting me because I have the best job ever with this, and it is just it's it's fantastic. Nothing prepares you for it. Uh, and all I know is I, uh, I appreciate it enormously each and every day. He's also very tall and lightning can find him. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That explains it. Oh my gosh. And you? <laughs> what was the question? <laughs> 20, oh, uh, 20 years. Okay. It's been, it's, it, the 20th anniversary is great. And to be clear, that's not his 20th birthday. Sponge has lived to be about 400 years old and we don't know how old SpongeBob is Actually in that spectrum. Is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm amazed uh, by it still. So, I mean, because, like we were saying, it, it, you're lucky if a show goes two seasons, uh, let alone as many as we've been on now. Um, and we get a chance to do more with the characters and, and uh, take them in places that, you know, most shows don't get a chance to because they just haven't been on long enough. We, we're always searching for new ways to make things new and fresh. And, uh, and the fans are always there. They always seem to be there. So thank you to them <laughs> first, because that's uh, amazing to us. Yeah, exactly. Speaking of the fans, the fan reaction to you guys over, over 20 years, people of all ages, and now we have social media. They're creating the memes, the videos. Have you guys, you know, are you guys familiar with some of the fun memes? Or do you have some favorites? Because they are hilarious. Um, it's crazy because my favorite thing to do on people's birthdays is send them a meme of myself. <laughs> it's the weirdest, surreal, like, what what happened in the world that I was able to send something from something I'm working on to say, what? It's crazy. It's really fun. And I like when fans, you know, put new ones up and stuff because it introduces me to them because I don't search all the time. So that's fun, too. So thank you. I kind of like... Patrick and Julia Roberts apparently being the same character. That's that's pretty awesome. Oh, it makes me chuckle. There's so many. There's a new one every single week. I know. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. Go ahead. I was gonna say I like the dirty ones. <laughs> yeah. When, when the writers back and forth, when we're texting each other back and forth about ideas and stuff, about half the time it, it just turns into a, a GIF war. Just memes, yeah, so memes, 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 memes to mean whatever it is you're Try trying to, find to say. As many as we can. 
Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that was interesting. Oh, no, no. SpongeBob is going to be around for 400 years, okay? Um, uh, Steven Hillenberg was such a talented visionary, and he's touched us all, and he's made, I know, my childhood a lot brighter, and thousands, maybe even millions of people, people of all ages, their, their lives have been touched by him. And I was wondering if you guys have a really fond memory of him. Like, what's your favorite memory of Steven working with him? Uh, I I will always treasure the the first couple of years of the show when he was our session director and he came in the booth with us and he sat with us and he was doodling and listening to what we were doing and giving us notes. It was a really unique environment that he created and uh, and that carries through today. And uh, uh, I always think about that and smile. Yeah. I think about um, early on. This was my first series regular of an animated show. I had done a lot of guest spots, but this was, yeah, this was like some crazy lotto I won. But um, I completely panicked the first time I met him after I was hired and he, and he gave me these notebooks, these like enormous notebooks full of information about Texas. And I, I was like, oh no, I'm in over my head. Like I have to study these notebooks and, and, and not disappoint. It's like disappointing your dad, right? I didn't want to mess up because he was so beautiful and, and I just felt such a strong um, responsibility, you know? So, uh, but yeah, those notebooks, wow, scary. <laughs> You know, he didn't give me any notebooks about being dumb. <laughs> huh. Did but he, he said you were genius yeah, you at being You didn't dumb. need any help, <laughs> Bill. Not, not even a notebook on rocks? Like living under a rock? <laughs> I, I, I think my favorite memory is actually just sitting in the mixes uh, when we're watching the thing and Steve uh, was laughing out loud because he was not an easy laugh. Right. And when you can get him to actually laugh out loud, you know, okay, that worked. That's right, that's right. <laughs> I, uh, I started with Steve um, on Rocco's Modern Life. We were directors on that together. So we had already had a simpatico kind of thing going with the kind of humor we liked. And we loved Monty Python and we and, and, and other things that were around at that time. And we just kind of bonded on that one. So when it, SpongeBob came up and we got a chance to work together again on, in that setting, um, it was different because it was freer. It was, you know, almost, it was just like sort of like, okay, now we're going to do all the stuff we might not have been able to do on that show. Now we're going to try to do it on this show. And so we had a nice playing field open for us to to write and create and, and he had the characters set up so it was just about figuring out the dynamics and how everything was going to work uh, and and figuring that for the first time was like uh, you know again it would look that's that's the fondest memories just sitting and figuring it out how is this going to all work we got the bible but now what do we do with these guys you know what i mean and you know and uh how's Patrick going to be and how's Sandy going to be you know, like you, you have an idea but until you solidify it and start really writing it and storyboarding it you have no idea so it was like another you know that's that's what I remember is just those first moments of figuring out those little nuggets that turned into things that went for years and years and years but just little ideas yeah yeah it totally just sounds like you guys became a family over the years, like really quickly, for sure, just listening to you guys. Um, how was it like working together in a live action form with your live action counterparts? Because that was hilarious watching it, seeing you guys, I'm so used to your voices, but seeing you guys as these different characters, that, how was that uh, experience? So awkward, so strange. We're doing, we're in a room recording together, yes, but we're not looking at each other. We're just... It's just you're seeing the words and you have your imagination feeding what you're doing. And then suddenly we're on a set and I'm looking at Roger going, where's Squidward? And, and he's talking like Squidward and I'm going, what's happening? It took me a while. It was very odd. It was, yeah, it was very, un and oh, and Clancy was hilarious because Clancy could not not call Roger's character Squidward, <laughs> but his character wasn't named Squidward. Yeah, yeah, yeah he, could, he, he couldn't get over it. It's pretty interesting. Yeah, it was really fun. It was scary at first, like, like, it, yeah, intimidating to be yeah. on a set and, and, and try to figure it all out. And now it's hard. I still haven't watched the full special because, Doug, no, I'll pick it apart. I'll be like, oh, I should have done that thing Sandy does. And, oh, I should have done that thing Sandy does. So maybe we'll get a chance to do another one and I can, I can make it better. <laughs> Yeah, you could actually the first day of shooting at the at the 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 trusty slab, you 
could see it in y'all's faces when you first walked out and everybody was standing in the room. You, it, was, it was like, oh. oh. Now, once the, once the camera started, that was gone. But it's like, I saw it. It's like, oh, oh, this is real. We're doing this. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I kept listening to, I kept listening to, um, you know, Roger and Clancy are in front of me and I've got my lines and I know what they are. And then all of a sudden, I'm just watching. I'm going, wow, it's Clancy doing Mr. Krabs. There he is. And, and he's talking to me, and I'm going, oh, shit, well, what's the line? I'm sorry. But, uh, you know, I was like, oh, oh. I, I, I just kept loving the lines because I kept listening, and, and I was mesmerized by it because we had not really rehearsed either. We, we, we came in that day pretty cold, and yeah, yeah. And we just were ready. We had to go. And I wrote all the lines, and I, and I knew everybody's lines. But I, it still couldn't. I had, I had to take a few takes to get it. It was, it was, it was crazy. Uh, I really wish I could talk to you like all day at Comic Con, but unfortunately we do have to wrap up. But it's been such a pleasure. I don't want to take up too much of your time. Thank you all. But you guys are amazing, and I just want to congratulate you guys on 20 years of success and 13th season upcoming. I'm super excited! Yay! Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.